Hi YouTube, this is Bailey. Um, I am brand new, this is my first video. Um, I just kind of wanted to make a video just kind of introducing myself, answering some questions that you guys have give, given me on my Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and all those things. You guys are amazing already. Um, I, I'm starting this channel because I've been inspired by my cousin Lauren. Um, you guys might know her, you might be from her channel, if you are, hi. Um, I guess a little bit about me as a person. I am 24, I live in Colorado, originally from Florida, so shout out to my Florida people. Um, I am in school full time, I am a college student online right now for supervision and management. Um, I graduate in May, so then I'm going back to CSU to finish my animal science degree. Um, I am a huge advocate for animals. I want my own ranch someday. Um, just big dreams and goals and ambitions. And if you guys have any questions about that, I am more than happy to answer them. Um, so about what this channel is going to be, I guess, would be, I'm going to talk about keto because I am on keto, the keto diet. It's a low carb, kind of medium protein and high fat diet. Um, for those of you that don't know about it, I started this in June. I was way too overweight for my comfort and my health and everything. So I took a chance in trying to lose weight and because it, it just seems so easy and simple and we all want fast results. So I started keto because my cousin, I saw my cousin do it. I got, I saw the results that she had and they were amazing. So I went and I just did it. One night I was like, you know, I'm gonna change how I eat. And I did it and it's just been so easy. So one of the first questions that I get a lot is what do I eat? Cause people hear this, they're like, what is keto? What are you doing? Um, and most people find it hard to believe I eat bacon. I eat a lot of bacon and my neighbors are watching me um, with their dogs, okay. Um, so I eat bacon, I eat cheese, eggs, low carb tortillas, um, salads, whatever I can find that's low carb and Kind of, I mean, I do have cheat days. I will not lie. I do have cheat days because we're we're all human here um, and That's mostly what I eat. I eat like steak chicken pork chops um, I Make like keto desserts so like keto chocolate chip cookies that I have a recipe for if you guys want it I will post it down below or on my Instagram and I'll tag my Instagram in the description um, so next question. So my favorite meals. So one of my favorite meals that I actually make from scratch and everything. It's so fun. I make buffalo chicken dip and most people make that and they eat it with tortilla chips, which are very high carb. So I can't do that. So I decided to try dipping it in celery. Um, it's healthy. It tastes good. It's like good for cook, like cookouts, tailgates, parties, football parties, whatever you want to do. If you just want to sit at home like me as a single woman and just eat a lot of it, then you can do that too because that's mostly what I do. Um, I also like the buffalo chicken stuffed bell peppers. Those are awesome. Like you, you kind of just meal prep them, honestly, and they're super easy. You just heat them up, put a lot of ranch on it like I do. Um, this girl loves her ranch. If anyone wants to send me a barrel of ranch, that'd be great. Um, so those are my favorite meals. I have um, that, that cookie recipe that I have. It's one of my favorites. I've made like pumpkin cheesecake bites that are totally keto friendly. And you can't even tell that they're healthy for you because they taste like heaven in your mouth. Um, let's see. Do I count macros? Do I count anything? I do not. I don't use any tracking device, like any, not a tracking device. Um, I'm not trying to track myself. Um, I don't use like my fitness pal or anything. I kind of just estimate and kind of guess where I am with my food intake. 
Um, I try to stay below 25 grams of carbs a day, and that's net carbs. So you take it, the carbs and subtract it from the fiber that's on the label. Um, because for me, I don't want to keep track of anything because then I feel like it's more of a job and not just a lifestyle change. Um, so counting all that, I don't do. I honestly don't know how to do it. So if anyone wants to tell me how to count my macros, please tell me in the comments below. Um, do I intermittent fast? I don't know what that means, honestly. Um, I guess fasting in a way that I forget to eat. I just, I forget to eat. Um, I'm a broke college student and I know a lot of people can relate to that. So us college students, we stick together and we forget to eat on most days. There's days where I don't eat until dinner time, just simply because I forgot or because I don't have money <laughs> to buy food. I, I buy like every week, maybe if I can, I'll spend $50 a week on groceries and stretch that out. I make sure I eat as little as possible to keep myself satisfied and to keep the food longer. Um, Cause we all know the struggle and just the struggle of going to the grocery store is hard for us, especially in Colorado this time of year when it's cold and snowy. <laughs> Um, so this Florida girl does not drive in the snow for you guys wondering if you see me on the road in the snow going 20 miles an hour with my hazards on that's me um, I get made fun of but hey I that's how I roll <laughs> um, short and long-term goals I my short-term goals is normally to just feel good and look good and have like maybe a cheat meal once a month. I know that's not a goal, but it keeps me sane. It keeps me feeling like I'm a normal person with a normal diet. Um, but my short term goals would probably be like lose one to two pounds a week, maybe. Most of the time it's more. So when I overshoot on my goal, it makes me feel a lot better. Um, long term goals, I just want to be healthy. I want to be the perfect weight for my body size and frame and all that medical jargon. Um, I, I think my goal would be like to be around like 130 pounds. Maybe that might be too thin. I don't know. I've never been that weight. I've always been heavier. I've all, most of my life I've been over 200 pounds and I just figured I need to change that. That needs to go away. I couldn't fit in an airplane seat without spilling over to my neighbor. Um, to like be in a roller coaster ride, my, my just body would not fit. I was just too wide. So those are kind of my goals right now. They might change, who knows. Um, I could be happy at this weight, I could not be. I'm not right now, so I'm I'm working towards the 130 mark. So if you guys want to do this with me, tell me your progress. Um, I would love to hear your stories and get to know you guys because um, I am here at your disposal. If you guys want to talk, I'm a great listener. Um, I'm pretty funny. I can tell jokes like it's no one's business. Um, I should have like a stand up mic behind me. I should with like a red curtain or a red brick wall or something. That would be awesome. Um, my biggest accomplishments on keto. I, so when I first started this, I weighed 248 pounds. And from June until now, and it's December 1st, I have lost a total of like 62 to 63 pounds. Um, and that's just by changing my diet and just changing my daily activities like I, I do go to the gym now where you know like most of everyone they hate everyone hates going to the gym I hate going to the gym I like the sauna after I work out but the gym no one likes to go but when I'm there it's it's not bad it's actually really fun honestly um, I've had a couple questions on why People are losing and gaining the same exact like 10 pounds or whatever. And I, honey, I do that too. Um, my weight goes up and down to the same, same like little bracket of pounds, poundage. Um, I don't know how to fix that. I just kind of, 
I, I fast, I guess, where I just forget to eat or don't want to eat because then that, that weight will come off. It will come off eventually, I promise. Um, or what also helps me, honestly, is having a cheat meal. Having just one big cheat meal kind of cleans out the system, if you guys know what I'm talking about, um, where I just, my body like gets that in its system and it's like, oh, this is not supposed to be here. Let's get this weight gone. So there was one time I had the keto whoosh. The whoosh is real. It is amazing. I lost, I think I lost four pounds overnight by doing nothing, literally just sleeping and I lost that weight. Um, what also helps is, you know, if you're, if you're of age guys, um, drinking a little bit of alcohol does help. Uh, mostly like wines. I drink red wine, um, some beer or like liquor, like whiskey, vodka, that kind of stuff that helps, um, get the weight off. Um, so if you guys are like in a rut and need, need that little bit of weight gone, just have a cheat meal or or don't, don't feel guilty about having a cheat meal because honestly, I do it. I haven't gained much weight from having cheat meals. I mean, I just got back from Thanksgiving break and that whole week was a cheat week. So, and I, I didn't gain any weight. I actually lost a little bit of weight. So you're like just different, different bodies function differently. Um, what kind of workouts do I do? I... I am not a health expert. I am not a like gym rat. So I honestly don't know what I do at the gym. I, I go there dreading it and I see all these like fit people, you know, like they're really buff and they, they, they know what they're doing. I don't. I get there, I get on the treadmill or the stairs and I just, I run or walk. I run for 30 seconds because Colorado, it's hard to breathe here when you're from sea level. Um, I do that for 10 minutes. I run and walk or I'll do the stairs for 10 minutes, maybe less, depending on what my energy level is that day. Um, and then I'll go to like the row machine and I'll just row for about five minutes. And then I head on over to the weight machines. Um, I normally switch off on days. So one day I'll do arms and then the other day I'll do legs. I know that's not how people are supposed to do it. I guess that's what I've been told. Um, but I just, I do arms and I do legs. I don't do, I don't specify in like back or abs or whatever people do. Um, but I'm, I'm at the gym normally for an hour, so 10 minutes doing cardio, 10, 15 minutes on cardio, and then the rest doing weights. And then I spend about 10, 15 minutes in the sauna, just cooling, not, not cooling down because the sauna is hot. Um, kind of just give my body a break and let it just calm down and sweat out toxins, sweat out fat, whatever your body is sweating out. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Um, have I ever plateaued with my weight loss? I have. I am right now. Um, that is honestly the most frustrating thing with any diet is when you see all this progress and then you just hit a plateau and you can't lose weight. You're just at that same like weight, maybe two or three pounds, give or take. Um, I do it quite often. I don't know why my body does it. Um, but if I just, if I do the cheat meal, if I, if I have like a little adult beverage, um, little things like that, working out a little bit harder, sweating a little more, that all will help you. I promise. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this video with my little introduction about me. Um, so guys, like leave comments in the comment section below and tell me what you want to know or tell me what you want to see from me because honestly I have no idea what I'm doing on here. Um, I'm going to talk about keto, animals, school, school with keto. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see or know about me and I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all! <laughs>